I'm at Little Baja in East Burnside today, and you know there's a little construction going on, but it's not going to stop us talking about cool sedums and succulents. And I'm with Jared, and Jared, you have not only pottery, but you have plants now to put in that pottery. Oh sure, yeah, we've always carried a nice assortment of succulents, just to you know, kind of this and that to really tie in that certain space of yours. And I think they go great with your pottery because I think they just look nice in the terracotta or the natural concrete. It just adds um, something to that container. Certainly. Well, you know, we always talk about how good terracotta is. It's especially good for succulents, cactus, things like that. It breathes, help uh, promote that healthy root system. Ah, uh, yeah, it helps with that drainage. Mm -hmm. So are there any kind of rules, do you think, with sedums and succulents to make it look so attractive? Um, well, I've always followed a rule by working with odd numbers. Okay. Threes and fives always go good. Kind of just, uh, I don't know. Um, also, also, you know, contrast. You know, nice. get some different colors in there and repetition. That kind of pulls it all together. Ah, I also like all the different textures. And look, and even this one is blooming. Yeah. And that really adds an element too. Sure. It's on fire. It's on parade here. Ah. And it's interesting as you get more used to it. You know, you'll kind of figure out each plant and what's so special about it. And, Wonderful. And uh, yeah. So Jared, we're going to pot this one up in a few minutes, but I see that you have some really unique small pots. So mm -hmm. how could we use those? Oh, we sure do. We have these nice little cubes in various sizes. Very cool. We have little wall pockets you can hang on the wall and those really make a nice touch. Um, but yeah, one's an odd number as well. So it's a <laughs> good one to do. Um, right. Something like this is real simple. You know, basically get that in there. Oh, not even plant it. Just well, put the pot in there. Um, it's either way. Um, sure. That's, that's fine there, just like that. And uh, just to keep it simple today, and then we'll put, uh, Some dress it stones. up here. Excellent. And then what about these little kind of statues and things? We could add those too? See, that's the fun part. And, uh, well, it's all fun. <laughs> but uh, so it's sure nice those. adding the finishing touches. Yeah, and maybe this little bridge? Yeah, I'd say so. Oh, and we could add more stones if we need to. Very nice. Simple. And then, so what kind of soil would we use in this bigger pot? Certainly. Um, you know, a lot of folks would just pick out a bag of pre-mix, like cactus or succulent mix. I happen to have some regular old potting soil All and right. a bag of perlite, so I just mix it half and half just to kind of get that really good drainage. All right, let's get that up here. Excellent. All right, and put it in. Awesome. It's all pre-mixed here. Okay. And so, it's just like planting any other container, you want to fill it up. Well, that mix of perlite and soil is really going to help with the drainage for these plants. Yeah, I think so. All right, so we picked out three sedums that, and, suck, and hens and chicks that really look nice. Tell me a little bit about them. Um, well, this had some nice color. It's just really vibrant, and it would be a good, uh, if it was a more center centerpiece, you okay. could put it in the middle, or you could put it back toward the side. All right. Yeah, kind of depends on where you're planning on placing it. I like that it's so tall, plus it's that blue-green. That's really, yeah. really pretty. I think that'll contrast nice with this guy. And look at that red, and that's one of the flowers. So we're yeah. going to make a little hole for that one. And that's going to go right on the side there, all right. Let's and then the last in. one is hens and chicks. Yeah, and this one has all kinds of babies coming yeah, out. Yeah, look at that. That is just great. And so what kind of sunlight will we put this in? You know, they really do best with the four or five hours of that morning sunlight. Okay. A lot of folks tend to think that they really need a lot of sun all day. But, mm -hmm. You know, that scorching midday sun can be a little harsh. Some will do better than others, you know, like cactus are usually fine. but. Right. Um, four or five hours of sunlight towards the morning hours would be ideal. And you could let them dry out between watering? Most definitely. I think that's probably the most important thing is oh, that perfect. it uh, drains out completely between waterings. And uh, maybe once a week, every two weeks, you're going to kind of figure out your feel. You know, you don't want those. Uh, it's just too damp all the time. Definitely. So really, this is a, such an easy project to do. And we did talk about that construction earlier, right. but is it going to be difficult for people to get here? You know, we're excited. We have a, a little bit more safe, secure parking. Uh, you don't necessarily have to park on the side street here anymore. Uh, we have a parking lot on 15th and Ankeny. This is gated, real easy. Oh, that is nice. Well, you know, you have to come down. You get your pottery. You can also get plants and get some lights, lots of ideas for some containers on your deck or on your front porch. Please go to Gardentime.tv. We'll click over their website. You can see exactly where that new parking is and how to get to Little Baja. Thanks Excellent. so much, Jared. It's great. As always, thanks.